Hey guys, welcome to a bonus episode of Super Mario Kart. We're gonna do something I used to do all the time as a kid. I'm gonna go to 50cc for this and just be Yoshi, as I like to be, and go to the Mushroom Cup. I never beat Star Cup on this Switch thing. Oh, on 50cc, that is. So, we're gonna help the 8th place guy win. So when we're playing as Yoshi, 8th place is always default to Luigi. So immediately what we're gonna do is slingshot him into 6th. And the way to do that is to make use of the rubber banding. So I just got to hover between him and Toad. There he goes. He's slingshot. Oh, he almost went ahead of Mario. Okay, so he's in seventh permanently now. Now, if I just ride Mario, Luigi's going to get rubber banding applied to him, and he's going to soon slingshot above Mario. We're going to kind of help him out that way, too. All right, now we are in fifth. And once again, the rubber banding is in full effect. Now, Luigi is considered in-game to be the permanent um, sixth place character. So if we spin Bowser out, now Luigi's in fifth. However, fifth place operates a little bit differently. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth are the same. Look at the map. Bowser just passed um, Luigi. So sixth, seventh, and eighth are unique in this game in that whoever's in those positions stays in that spot. So if I knock Luigi out right now and he falls back to eighth, he's staying in eighth. He's not even going to bother go climbing back up to sixth. However, it changes once you get to 5th place. 5th place always fights to stay in 5th, and same with everything above 5th place. And the only way to change that is by finishing the race in a certain order. So what I'm doing right now is hoarding this red shell that I plan to use on the final lap. And I'm just trying to hover between 4th and 5th to kind of keep Peach, Bowser, and Luigi up close. Because look at how far back Toad and Mario are. I don't want them to be in this mix. So I'm going to fail this race. I'm coming in fifth, but I want to ensure that Luigi, who, remember, is supposed to be in eighth place, places in the happy ranks, either first, second, third, or fourth. So we're going to knock out Peach, I guess, because she fell back. Bowser slingshotted ahead of her. Go, Luigi, and then I'm filling in the blank. There. Now, I sacrificed a life, basically, for this to happen. Luigi is all happy in fourth place, and as long as I continue from here and don't just reload everything from the main menu... Now the game thinks, like, Luigi's AI has changed where he is the racer that is going to maintain that position now. He's not in the low ranks of 6th, 7th, and 8th, so he's not going to just dawdle around. He's going to fight to stay in that spot, just like we saw with Bowser. So now I can just kind of do what I want and just... But again, I want to help him win. I want to get him to the podium. But this is the challenge that it's way easier to do on 50cc, That's which is why I'm doing this. I'm just going to linger in hopes to get a better item here. Go ahead, everybody. So, yeah, see, he's in fifth place. Like, if I actually race and win, Luigi's still going to be crying in fifth. So we got to do something about Bowser, DK Jr., and Koopa Troopa. So a lot of things could happen. And notice how the slingshot thing works no matter what. If you linger behind somebody long enough, the person that's behind you is going to climb up and slingshot ahead of them. However, you can't guarantee that, unlike in 6th, 7th, and 8th place, where they stay stuck. Once they slingshot, they're staying there. So we kind of lap 4. Okay, now we got to get a little bit serious. I got to get ditch the mushroom and get something good. That's not good enough. Okay, red shell. See, this is the thing that makes it a little bit tricky, which on this switch thing, being able to suspend save data might help. Um... All right, final lap. Let's get serious here. Come on, Bowser. Climb up. I want to cluster them all together using this rubber banding to my advantage. If I rubber band each of these positions, it's going to be like a mass clump of three of them. And then the ideal thing would be if something happened. Okay, go, go, go. All right, Luigi's in third. As long as I stay in fourth, yeah, we're good. Bowser's too far behind. Boom. Now Luigi is in third. However, if you think of it as me winning, he's going to be in fourth place, so he's still not at the podium. So now it comes to round two in Donut Plains. I have to do something about DK Jr. and Koopa Troopa. The ideal situation, of course, would be a lightning bolt or a star. And then taking them both out. I'm going to suspend the data like I was saying just right now. There we go. Game saved. Just in case. Because I've actually tried to record this a few times and I kept on messing up. Actually, in my one attempt, when I got to this round two, somehow Luigi was in second. Something happened to DK Jr. in that first race, as well as Bowser. So Luigi actually placed second, and I came in in third. Oh, uh, I just knocked him out. Oh, well, he'll climb back. We're just wasting time. This is what we could do on 50cc. 
But yeah, as a kid, I can't tell you how much I've done this. I used to just try to stay single file with everybody, just lightly tapping B over and over and over again. It's kind of fun to do. I don't know. It's a different way to have fun with a game that you've replayed a million times. And like I said, I used to do this all the time. Star, okay. Let's just hang on to this until the very end. So we get to just have fun and do what we want. I don't know if I'm going to show this whole race. I guess I could. This game is short. How long could this video be if I finish out the circuit? It'd just be like a bonus mushroom cup, I guess. So we could slingshot a little bit. I could hang behind Koopa here. Or I could just race ahead. But that's the thing. If you use the rubber banding to your advantage, like I could get DK Jr. and Luigi on top of each other for the rest of this race if I really wanted to. But I got to be very careful. And you know the controls when you use a star. You kind of get a little bit out of control. So it can be kind of hard to actually precisely ram into the guys that you want to ram into. But see, the challenge here, the challenge that I give on to you, is to make the 8th place, or you could do 7th or 6th. Choose anybody in the lineup that's way back there and not supposed to win at all. Bring them to the forefront as if they would win 1st place, but you also have to win the gold. Okay, final lap. So yeah, that's the challenge here. I gotta win gold, but we're making Luigi come in second. Alright. So be mindful of the map, and what we gotta do here is get the slingshot going. So everybody kinda climb up on each other. Come on, DK Jr. Alright, this is crunch time. This is it. Come on. Oh no. Might be reloading that suspend data. Okay, DK Jr.'s out. Yes! Come on, Luigi! Come on, Luigi! Go, go, go! Yes! Go! Beautiful. That's awesome. He's in first place. I'm in second. Wow, Koopa deep dropped down to fourth. That should be perfect. I think that is enough change in the point values so that Luigi is now permanently the second place person. I hope that's the case. Because then that makes this next race easy. Where are the point values? Yeah, he's at 12. There we go. Luigi's the number one. So now already, uh, that's, that's the end. That's the bonus. That's what I wanted to do. Is get Luigi up front. He's supposed to be an eighth when you're playing as Yoshi. Remember that. So that's the whole point of this. And now it's just on me to win. Now we're just playing 50cc Mushroom Cup. But keep in mind how close the point tallies are. So, for instance, on this lap, or on the final lap of this course, if I do something like this, Luigi didn't hit. I'm shocked. But if I do something like that on the final lap, place an obstacle where I know the computer always hits it and Luigi spins out, he could come in 4th or 5th, and then the point values will reset, and Koopa will probably regain his spot. Boing! So I gotta actually be a little bit careful here, and still keep in mind, I'm trying to help Luigi. And not place that- whoops. <laughs> oh well, 50cc, it doesn't matter. Like, I could play something here right now if I want to, it doesn't matter. But I just got to make sure by the final lap, he's definitely coming in second. And sometimes that's out of your control. And especially when you're trying to do that slingshot stuff early on. Characters could be throwing bananas or whatever. Bowser could throw his little spark thing. And sometimes when you're doing the slingshot thing, the guy who's getting that little rubber banding boost, he kind of loses his, in his intelligence to dodge other projectiles. Where normally they do that giant hop over top of it. But yeah, like this banana... I might as well just not even place it because the point values are too close and I definitely want Luigi to stay ahead. It looks like he's doing it. He's coming around now. Boom, that's really going to secure his lead, especially because Koopa came in fourth. Well, no, he is the default third. That's right. He's third right now by the point values. Well, let's see where the point tallies are now. Yeah, that's right. I still got to win, so I don't even think I'm in first yet. Nope, Luigi's still winning. Okay, but that's a good divide. So Luigi should be good, and this is a track that, this is my chance to just race and win. Especially on 50cc, you could lap almost everybody. That's what I used to do on this track, especially because of the double zipper situation around the next turn here. So I can have fun with it and still spin out Luigi if I feel like it. Who didn't hit it? Princess hit it. Yeah, that's the thing. See, they still jump over it randomly. But yeah, this is just a, a different fun challenge that you could do for yourself instead of just racing like normal. And it would be even more of a challenge on 100cc and definitely 150, because those are way harder to win. But 50cc, it's easy. You just very, very slowly tap the gas and just stay in the single file, and you can manipulate it however you want to. 
And again, that goes back to what I was saying. One of the reasons why I love this game. I like that everybody's in a linear fashion and there's an order to it. I like the OCD mechanics of it. There's just something satisfying about breaking something that's supposed to be a specific order. It's like breaking the rules, kind of. And it's satisfying. I feel like I'm going very slow after just playing 150, but... Yep. So it looks like I've succeeded. As long as nothing crazy happens to Luigi, he's going to be in the second place position on the podium. And again, you, I could have done it with Toad, who's supposed to be in seventh when you're a Yoshi. And you can do this with any character, anybody that you want. You could take somebody who's supposed to be in fourth. That actually might be easier. But then you just got to remember that you, that final lap is the biggest thing. But I just like, it's just intriguing to me how 6th, 7th, and 8th have that weird mechanic where it's even more interesting too because when you finish the race and it gives you the point values, everything 5th and below gets 0 points. However, 5th place is always 5th. Like, you know how it awards the points? I'll show you right after this as this race ends. It'll be a better explanation. Because, yeah, this is what I'm trying to say, is let's just say Luigi, something did happen normally through normal racing, and Luigi actually placed 6th instead of 8th. It would show right here. But now the points are going to be rewarded, and then when it refreshes this, then it would bump Luigi back to 8th, because that's where he's supposed to be when you're Yoshi, regardless of the fact that he came in 6th. And I think it even does it if he places 5th, because the 5th place person is supposed to be Bowser as Yoshi. However, as soon as he gets that one point, it bumps him up the list, and then he's the default 5th or 4th place guy. But it's just weird how 6th, 7th, and 8th place are unique like that, where they stick to the order based on who you're playing as, no matter what happens, unless they obtain a point value. So I'm going to do this. There goes DK Jr. Because, yeah, this is the course where if you plant something on that jump, he's not going to place second. And just to make sure Luigi definitely wins... Every time I place something on the ramp, I'm going to make sure Luigi's ahead of me so he's not the one who hits it. Well, yeah, DK Jr. is probably going to have trouble getting back to wherever, whatever position he was in. Third? Fourth? I think he was in fourth. So yeah, the green turtle shell, once again, I would normally just keep on going and place it and screw Luigi over, but... Alright, go ahead, Luigi. And then follow his line, plan it! And looks like Princess is going to eat it. Yep. What was she? She was fifth place, wasn't it? Koopa's still racing. What happened to him? I think... You know what happened? He was getting the slingshot rubber band effect, and it made him mess up the jump. There's something really weird. When the rubber banding gets applied to CPU characters, they start to mess certain things up that normally they do flawlessly, like jump over items and make jumps appropriately. This is fun. There goes DK Jr. again, man. But see, that's another thing about this game. He is in fourth place right now, statistics-wise. So, he has about 10 seconds right now to finish the race. Because as soon as this screen fades to black right here, it goes back to the default order. So right now, like, Mario could finish. Come on, Mario. If he doesn't cross that line, Mario's getting bumped down. He didn't cross. So where's Mario? See, it says Mario finished 8th, but that is not true. He was about to finish just there. Unless he was a lap behind, but that does happen. I don't know, There's, I've just replayed this game so many times messing with the race order. And it's just fun to observe all these weird little things that happen. But there he is at second place. Remember, it's supposed to be Yoshi, Koopa Troopa, DK Jr. But I, Luigi's supposed to be in 8th, but there he is in 2nd. And that is a little bonus fun thing you could do with Super Mario Kart that you can't do with any other Mario Kart game. So thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the series. See you in the future.